Hey guys, what's up? This is White Boy for the win, and welcome back to Why Mega Evolve. Now, earlier this week we talked about Mega Fero, and today we're going to be talking about Mega Ferrothorn. But before we get started, let me just give you guys a brief explanation of what this series is about. Now, every week we'll be picking two Pokemon that either need a Mega Evolution, deserve a Mega Evolution, or want a Mega Evolution 4. Now, this is based off my opinion, my opinion alone, and no one else's. Now, if you guys do not like my opinion, then please post your opinions in the comment section down below. But what would you keep? What would you change? And etc. And at the end of every video, we'll be telling you guys which Pokemon we'll be talking about the following day. So with that said, here is Mega Ferrothorn. Now, first things first, as you can tell, this video is going up a little bit late, so I do apologize about that. It's just that time wouldn't allow. I am actually very, very busy, but I was going to be uploading this video regardless uh, of what was happening today. But I, I know I, I, I haven't said this yet, but I was trying to make an update video, but like I said, time wouldn't allow it. But basically, what's going to be going on from now on, if you guys are a long-term viewer, then you guys should know that I usually like to pre-record a month, month and a half ahead of time just in case if something actually does happen then you guys got content but I really can't do that anymore just because I don't really have enough time to just sit down and just record and edit like 10 to like 12 videos a day so what's gonna be going on from now on is that I'm just going to be pretty much pre-recording a video that's supposed to be going up either on Friday and or on Monday a day uh, uh, um, before it's supposed to go up or a couple of days before but either way it's still gonna be pre-recorded so if a video uh, in the future does get put up a little bit late on that specific day when a video is supposed to be up I do apologize there's really nothing I can do about it but anyways I know a lot of you guys actually ask me for shorter videos because uh, shorter videos are a, little, a lot better for a lot of people because you either have a job or just that you can't just sit down for like 30 minutes a day and watch a, a couple of videos or whatever the case may be. I understand. Um, so this video is probably going to be a lot shorter than others just because when it comes to Ferrothorn, like Ferrothorn doesn't need a Mega Evolution. Like to be completely honest, it does not need a Mega Evolution. Its stats are, are actually very good. Its typing is amazing. So other than that, um, like I said, if, if Ferrothorn like, does get a Mega Evolution, the only thing that's probably going to change is its stats, and that's basically the only thing that I've done to uh, Ferrothorn for its Mega Evolution. So, like I said, it's a good time for what I've done to its stats. I did increase everything but its special attack and speed. Special attack I didn't increase because obviously it's not a special attacker, and its speed I left it alone as well because like I don't want to decrease a Pokemon's base stat that's already like like super low as it is so uh, I decided to leave it alone because obviously gyro ball is going to be a very very monstrous uh, powerhouse uh, move for ferrothorn so leaving it at base 20 I feel like was a good choice but anyways for its physical attack I increased it from base 94 to base 134 now ferrothorn as it is already can hit hard uh, by itself with using like power whip or gyro ball or anything uh, of, of the moves of the sort but I felt like increasing it to base 134 making its physical attack just very very skyrocket high and to be completely honest like if it gets stats like these I could potentially see this thing being an Uber. It's already an OU right now and it's a, it has a very good typing it's weak to only if I'm not mistaken fire let me check real quick oh I, excuse me it is weak to fighting as well but I don't think there's a fighting Pokemon in Ubers Oh yeah, there's this Blaziken, which is basically like Ferrothorn's uh, counter in the Uber tier. But other than that, honestly, like I said, if, if Ferrothorn gets stats like these, I could potentially see this thing being in Ubers. Because base 134 is such a monstrous attack stat for Ferrothorn. Gyro Ball is going to be practically like Okoing a Pokemon. Uh, Power Whip is going to be doing a decent chunk of damage. Uh, what else does this thing get? Iron Head? Boy, don't even get me started with Iron Head. That thing's going to knock out uh, basically any fairy type Pokemon this thing comes across. Um, let's see. I don't even know what this thing gets access to because I really never use it. It gets access to Shadow Claw. It gets access to Shadow Claw. The more you know, it gets access to. What? This thing gets access to Rock Polish too? It gets access to Poison Jab, Swords Dance, like, this thing can become a very, like, one of the biggest threats. You, you set up a Trick Room, and it's basically GG, because, like I said, Base 134 is actually a very skyrocket attack stat for Ferrothorn. Even though Ferrothorn is mostly known for being, like, 
the physical wall because, like I said, you most of the time you run like max HP, max physical defense, and like the last four in special defense or in physical attack with like leech seeds, spikes. Uh, I don't know what else this thing gets. Uh, power whip and gyro ball. I know those two moves are very common to have on this thing. Same thing for thunder wave. So uh, base 134, I honestly felt like it's going to be a very balanced. I would say. Uh, physical attack stat for a Pokemon like Ferrothorn. Now for its physical defense, I wanted to increase it to base 131 to base 171. Now like I said, Ferrothorn is mostly known for being a physical defensive wall and with its typing being uh, grass and steel and only weak to two of the typing, this thing will be able to eat up a lot of hits, literally a lot of hits. Its HP stats obviously uh, decent at base uh, 74, maxing out at 352 if you have the proper IVs. But, like I said, this thing is going to be a, mo a very, very strong wall running with, like, Leech Seeds, Stealth Rocks, Thunder Wave, and then Gyro Ball. You're pretty much set to go with, uh, like, Ferrothorn as it is right now. And with base 171 in its physical defense, this thing is going to be practically hard to, like, take down unless you have either a Fighting Type move or a Fire Type move. But specifically, a Fire Type move will probably be best to take this thing out. Um, but speaking of, like... Fire type moves because most of the time, like when it comes to fire type moves, you want to run like a special move to hit this thing with like flamethrower or fire blast just because you don't want to take the iron barbs damage. So, for its special defense, I increased it just a little bit, uh, not like overly like high, like compared to its physical defense and physical attack that I increased it to. I only increased it by 20 points to base 134 or 136, excuse me. Uh, its special defense is actually decent as it is already, but obviously I wanted to increase it to base 136. That way it'll be a lot more bulkier. That's basically what Ferrothorn is. It's just a very bulky Pokemon, which has an amazing typing and an amazing ability. And like I said, base 136, uh, uh, it, this thing will be able to eat up hits, no matter what like it's coming from, either physical, from the physical side, from the special side. Like I said, regardless, this thing is going to be eating up hits for days. And I feel like base 136 is very balanced because in that way it could potentially eat like a focus blast or a vacuum wave, flamethrower, fire blast, heat wave, whatever the case may be. But it, honestly, like I said... It depends on what Pokemon it's coming from, but so I don't honestly see this thing living like a flamethrower or anything like that. But who knows the possibilities of what you can actually live. Um, but like I said, base 136 is actually a balanced special defense stat. Now as a regular Ferrothorn, its base stats at 489 with the Mega Evolution is going to be at 589. Now for its ability, like I said, I decided to leave it alone as Iron Bards. It's obviously the best ability this thing is actually ever going to get. There's really no reason for me to actually change its uh, ability around whatsoever. I mean, if I was probably going to change its ability to something, it'll probably be similar to like Iron Barbs doing a little bit more damage or something like that. I don't know what the case may be, but like I said, just decided to leave Iron Barbs uh, as it is because it is the best ability for Ferrothorn and for its typing, I left it alone as Grass Steel. It's one of the most unique typings we have right now because if I'm not mistaken, and don't quote me on that, Ferrothorn is the only Grass Steel type Pokemon we have. Like I said, don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. It's not like I remember every single Pokemon off the top of my head. So I do apologize if it is wrong. But like I said, Grass Steel is a very, uh, really good typing for Ferrothorn. So with all that, there is Ferrothorn. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And also don't forget to comment and subscribe. Now, I know I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video, but obviously I couldn't find a Mega Ferrothorn picture to use. And I also forgot to put the, the glasses on it because that's what I usually do if I can't find a Mega Evolution po uh, picture to use for these videos. So I do apologize about that as well. But anyways, the next Pokemon we are going to be talking about, we're going to be jumping down one generation to generation four because there are a lot of Pokemon from Generation 4 that I absolutely love because Generation 4 is my favorite generation and the one Pokemon that I honestly thought I talked about a long time ago uh, that I actually haven't yet is a Pokemon that was from an older generation that received an evolution and if you cannot tell which one it is just yet from the ones that I haven't done yet we are going to be talking about Mega Rose Raid. So on Monday, you guys will be seeing a Mega Rose Raid. So with all that said, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And also don't forget to comment and subscribe. So this is White Boy for the win, and I'll catch you guys later.